In the 20th century, clouds were seeded by numerous countries around the globe with various chemicals to produce rain. China was just doing this over the summer in Beijing to make sure that there weren't any uh, rain, that there wasn't any rain during the Olympics. But all this has changed dramatically with the U.S. military's secretive research and plans to control the planet's natural weather. This has not been given very much uh, press, and we have to remember that we are, have a corporate-owned press where 85 percent of radio, television, and print media is owned by five corporations. So they're not going to talk about things that are uh, of really serious consequence, and that's somewhat of the blessing, a mixed blessing of the Internet, but there's certainly plenty of information on weather modification. The Air Force is on record as saying, quote, they want to control the weather by 2025, and we are not talking about just seeding the clouds for rain. Weather modification means, quote, any activity performed with the intention of producing artificial changes in the composition, behavior, or dynamics of the atmosphere, unquote. And as of April this year, there are more than 150 different weather modification programs around the world. Since about 2000, the Department of Defense and the Department of Energy have been spraying the entire United States sky with a toxic brew of chemicals and other biologic agents. Just want to show you something. We have two different kinds of trails in the sky right now. One are called contrails. How many of you know what contrails are? Contrails are what have been around uh, from uh, the um, ends of planes since World War II. These are very, very short exhaust trails that usually evaporate within a few minutes. You just look up at the sky and you'll just see a jet sometimes with four trails, but it evaporates pretty quickly. How many of you know what chemtrails are? Nobody. The military and some commercial planes are spraying us with what are called chemtrails. I want you to look at the, and oftentimes before there's a weather front, uh, there are heavy assaults uh, from these planes just before a weather front has changed and comes in. Military and some commercial jets have been fitted with huge barrels of at least 49 different kinds of documented chemical poisons. Among other documented ingredients in this toxic man-made clouds are, patho are pathogenic molds, fungi, weaponized viruses and made in some places like uh, of the secret site at Fort Detrick, Maryland, which is supposed to be a cancer site, but there are a number of scholars and professors tracking this that have big questions about this. Barium and nanoaluminum particles. What do these do to the human body? Barium is an alkaline earth mineral. It was discovered in 1774. At low doses, it can act as a muscle stimulant. At high doses, it detrimentally affects the heart and the nervous system. Barium is toxic to all mammals, and that means not just humans. Aluminum, which is the most abundant metal in the earth's crust, is known to diminish kidney function and destroy brain cells and cognitive function. Just think about it, just between the aluminum and the mercury that we're breathing all the time, we've got already a serious issue about uh, brain function and cognitive function. There is also documented evidence that the aluminum in chemtrails is released as nanoparticles and that when they reach the earth environment for wildlife the, in lakes and streams, it's causing serious uh, problems with wildlife there. Researchers are also finding that nanoparticles interfere with the growth of plants. Nanotechnology is totally unre unregulated. Just this past uh, month, a uh, new research 
report uh, came out uh, showing and documenting for the first time that these nanoparticles actually go through the skin. Well, if you breathe them, whether they go through the skin or whether you're inhaling them, it's still a problem, a serious problem. hear what I'm saying. Um, I couldn't even hear myself. This is the loudest sound you could possibly conceive. And, as it turns out, the cleanest. Now, the most amazing thing is that that cloud up there, which was generated by the engine, is just a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. It's water vapor. And in about an hour's time, someone in Mississippi is going to get wet washing. It will actually rain. I told you. It's raining. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh. NASA's playing God. It's making its own weather. Hey, shalom, shalom. First thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor this due to how Bashimi how was shy, Bashim Rakawa Dash. That will launch the apostles and elders a great millstone. Peace and blessings and salutation to the whole full act. It was in the gospel abroad, lifting up the standard of Yahweh Bashimi how was shy, wherever it may be. Uh, this is just a quick lesson that shows you uh, how the chemtrails, how we know we wasn't tripping, how we know we wasn't making things up, but uh Going into these chemtrails, man, you have what they call contrails, you have chemtrails, okay, which they both, contrails is basically like jet stream, from, fuel from jets, so to speak, and if you notice, if you see a jet or a plane in the air, then all of a sudden, uh, you know, it leaves and it's not any particular trace of the particular chemtrail uh, in the air, all right, but a chemtrail leaves streaks and chemicals, like they say, different molds and barrier mock size and all that other stuff man okay which attaches to your respiratory system and it shit can kill you man okay and i noticed since this last wave of the of the you know what the c1 of the you know what back in december man i've been noticing that they've been spraying the skies heavily to the point everybody's allergies and symptoms are all messed up you know like i still from time to time suffer from these episodes of i don't get dizzy but i get a little lightheaded and you know i get my breath uh, I start breathing a little hard. It feels like asthma almost. And I never really had any particular respiratory issues before. I mean, outside of bronchitis, you know. But whatever this is, man, they um, they sprayed something and then it just enhanced the whole it enhanced the whole thing. Because now if I eat certain things or if I drink certain liquids or something like that, while well, I'm having an episode, it gets worse. So that's how I know that the shit that they're spraying in the air, air is killing us, man. You know, and this is the reason why this man has to go down, okay? Because clearly, clearly they're spraying the skies up, you know, and they showed you the video at the end of the uh, of the of that Edomite recording, uh basically what they do in cloud seeding and manufacturing clouds. And that's basically he said that this man is trying to play God. And that is absolutely true. He's trying to play the most high, which that's not his role, okay? That's not your role to play your how about Shimi how shy because the most high he created the heavens and the earth, not you. Which is why this devil got to get up out of here, man. He has to go. Esau, Edom has to be brought down because I'm going to get the precept in Matthew, the 24th chapter. Um, shit, if, if the most I don't take this devil out, then he's going to destroy everything, man. You know, he's going to destroy everything, including himself. You see, so through the spirit and power, you how about you, Shai, man. Hey, this devil got to go because brothers are literally... Feel like they're fighting for their lives man you know due to sicknesses and illnesses and so forth like that all right and it's funny to these people you know but hey we're gonna put holy hell on you in the kingdom all right so uh this is a precept here this is the book of matthews 24 and i'm gonna start at verse 21 <laughs> and this is why we need healing this is why the most high has to come back and he has to heal us man because 
you know, this shit. If not, we gonna all be destroyed, man. <laughs> you know, we a drop dead. But anyway, it says, for then should be great tribulation. Such it was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor no ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days were shortened. So all you people out there that want to label us conspiracy theorists and stuff like that, nah, man. Okay, this shows you right here that this man, and it's, you're getting it from the horse's mouth. I mean, the demonic Edomite chick, she telling you, all right? Even at the end of the video, let's go back and play it real quick. Sauce trails that usually evaporate look within a few minutes. You just look up at the sky and you'll just see a jet That's sometimes crazy. with four trails. And here, we think but we, and here we think we're dealing with real clouds. We probably don't even know what real clouds look like, honestly. If you can't hear what I'm saying, um, I couldn't even hear myself. This is the loudest sound you could possibly conceive. And as it turns out, the cleanest. Look at that. It's crazy. Storm now, clouds. The most amazing thing is that that cloud up there, which was generated by the engine, is just a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. It's water vapor. And in about an hour's time, someone in Mississippi is going to get wet washing. It will actually rain. I told you. It's raining. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh. NASA's playing God. It's making its own weather. That's crazy, yo. Brother Isaiah 47 and 10, it says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me, and thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee, and thou hast said in thy heart, I am and none else beside me. That's the pride of Esau Edom. Okay, because in his mindset, like I said, he thinks he's God, he thinks he's the most high. Okay, when he's nothing more than a man, like the scriptures say, the Egyptians are nothing but men. Okay, he's a man, but the most high gave him power over the planet Earth for a time being, okay? According to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where is he? Okay, and this is clearly Edom, the Edomite, all right? But it says here, no flesh should be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. And what that means is that if the Most High didn't speed up time, we wouldn't make it, man, okay? If we had to suffer another 20, 30 years, 10 years under this devil, we would literally all die from being sick because all the illnesses, the respiratory shit, you know, uh, they're talking about a new particular dangerous variant coming now, so... It's really finna get turned up out here, man. And the fact that, you know, brothers are still recovering from certain ailments, man, it's, it's, it's really gonna be through faith now. Because, I mean, literally, brothers are gonna feel like they're on their last leg of life. All right? Because, like I said, when this new shit hit, hey, man, Lord be with us to, to help us endure. Because, shit, man, this last ordeal that hit, that shit hit brothers like a ton of bricks. And like I said, I still have episodes, you know, of being short as a breath or... You know, sometimes lightheaded. Like I don't have vertigo. I don't. I'm not dizzy anymore. You know what I'm saying? But I could tell that uh, it's called a, a testicular uh, dysfunction, so to speak. When basically in your inner ear, it's offset because your brain and your mind and your calibration and in, uh, in your ears is trying to set back up, but something is offset. Your mind is telling your body that something is off. So it's you know it leads to a particular uh, ear, like an ear issue. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not on alignment. It's kind of like if you have a sniper rifle that's out of calibration, if you try to shoot the bullet, it's going to curve, you know, and that's kind of what's going on. You know, and Esau, he ain't really been able to figure it out. So it's some new shit, man. All right. But uh, one more precept here and I'm going to end it. Ezekiel 28 and I'm going to start at verses uh, two. It says, son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, thus says the Lord, Yahweh, because thy heart is lifted up. And I was said, I am a power and I sit in the seat of the power. And in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not the most high, though thou set thy heart as a God, right? Because in his mindset, controlling the weather, okay, weather manipulation, like we said, they were spraying uh, chemtrails all throughout the winter, you know, um, 80, it was, we had like an 80 degree day, I think like in February or something like that, January, something like that, December, can't remember, but it was hot as hell outside. But all of a sudden, you can see the chemtrails he was spraying, and then all of a sudden, it became fucking like a snowstorm hit, like later that week. Okay, so that's this man playing the most high, which he doesn't have a right to do. 
All right. It says, but behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Okay. And thy wisdom and thy understanding has gotten thee riches and has gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. And by great wisdom and by thy traffic, thou has increased thy riches and thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches, man. Okay. So he's puffed up because of his, his riches, you know, and his technology. Like right now we're living in what they call a technocracy, a, a, a society based on technological advances, you know. Uh, one last precept here. This is the book of Revelation eleven eighteen. It says that the nations were angry and their wrath has come in the time of the dead that they should be judged. The dead is you heathens. Um, it says that they should give us reward into the service, the prophets and to the saints and to them that fear thy name, small and great. And should have destroyed them which destroyed the earth. Well, yeah, how about you, man? Hey, speed the day. Because honestly, man, this devil, man, he's he's not going to let up no time soon. Things are just going to get worse. You know, so hey, with that, all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you, how was shy? And with that, shalom, wa ba ba ba, shalom.